Put your hands together for Mr. L. Boogie. How's everybody doing? First, we got two extra signs. Uh, those two extra signs are for all the fake people in the house right now. So if any fake people here, time to exit. Okay. Cool. Man, I know I'm not the only one that see people out here doing dumb ass shit. Like uh, posting pictures of that ugly ass baby on Facebook. Talking about my baby beautiful. Knowing this baby look like Spike from the Gremlins. I mean, got kids at school messing with him like, no, don't spray him with water. Don't spray him with water. The ugly gonna multiply. The ugly gonna multiply. Wonder why these kids taking backpacks to school and blowing up schools. Man, that's crazy, man. Another dumb thing that I've noticed, women, I love y'all, but just, just let your hair go natural. I'm tired of having sex at home and feeling black ice hit my face. Yeah, and uh, if you don't know what the black ice is, those are for those women who, who put too much damn glue in their hair. Please don't do that. It's not the business. I'm sliding all out of the bed and shit. Wondering what's going on. It's your fault. It's the ice. I didn't see it. I didn't see the black ice. It's crazy, man. America's a trip. For real, it is. A lot of stuff's changed. And, and it's bad because, you know, it's all behind the oil. You know, America jacking people. You know, they got the stuff over here like, we need to put money into the textbooks at the schools. You know, we need to get jobs. These hookers out here some need some new heels. Like they do. I mean, they, they, they were six inch stilettos and now they're three inches. You know, their calf muscles are big. The pimps can't get their money from them. They get kicked in the face. You know, it's, it's crazy, man. For real. <laughs> Women, I love y'all, but I don't like to be teased during that time of the month. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not. I mean, I get the notion that you want some because you're rubbing your booty all up on it. Y'all know the little, little butt lift. You know what it is. We think it's going down in the valley and it's really like a meat packing plant. And then you want to have the nerve to say, why, why won't you hold me tonight? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You're like a butcher right now. I don't, that's not the business. No. <laughs> Men, uh, if you're going through things as far as like not getting a blowjob, go wash your funky ass balls, please. <laughs> please go wash your balls. Cause I'm tired of my friends coming up to me and telling me, hey man, you know what? It, it, things aren't going too good at home. I'm not getting my balls on. I was like, okay, that's not my problem. I mean, your balls are funky and they sweaty. Because the next one to come up to me, I'm going to hand him a bar of Irish Spring soap, a washcloth, and a bottle of Dasani water. Tell him to go wash his funky balls. Women, they, they, they I mean, the females, they, been, they, they, they give you, they give you the words. Because you be like, babe, what's up? You going to hit me right? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. They try to give you the warning, but you're just not hearing it. So if you're going through things like this, in the bedroom where your girl looking at your shit and, and it's turned into a physical examination like this. <laughs> and they asking all kinds of crazy questions like, why it looked this way? <laughs> Be smelling it like, why it smell like that? What's this purple stuff on your balls? See, though, that's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. So that means you need to wash your funky ass nuts. I don't know what's wrong with these kids out here nowadays. Uh, I think it's beyond the mollies and the skinny jeans. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I think one of the problems is, is these kids need a good ass whooping. Yes, yes they do. They need a good ass whooping. Uh, me personally, my favorite is a karate chop to the forehead. Bow! Yes, it works for me and it works for anyone else. And whoever said, no, not that, that means that you need your ass whooped probably. One more time. Okay, so you did receive at least an elbow to the face. 
frying pan to the back, possibly an extension cord fresh out the shower. Yes, so I know it's real people in here tonight, so thank you. Uh, I'm in a relationship, and I've been in a relationship for uh, eight years. Uh, what? <laughs> Fuck that. Okay. I've noticed that being in a relationship is, uh, it's strenuous. Uh, it's also depressing. As you can see, I have this tight ass shirt on where Marvin the Martian is like, please take me off. You are killing me. Uh, ladies, I, I'm gonna ask on behalf of all the men that are in here, please stop being so hard on us because we are not your kids. Bullshit, stop laughing. Um, we are not your kids. We are your big ass grown kids. So if the next time you pick up a controller and you're trying to figure out how come the controllers are there, it's because we really, really do love you. We really do. It's from the heart. It gives you something to do so you stop fucking with us. Yes, for real. Uh, uh, being over 30, uh, man, you know that you have that, uh, that, that annual checkup. Make sure you go get those checkups. My pops, he, uh, he's a survivor of cancer. He had colon cancer. Yes, give that up for all the cancer survivors. Uh, I think I found out the remedy for the cure for cancer. Uh, my father told me that he just switched a few things up. Uh, he said that he started dieting, eat more salads, and started eating a hell of a lot more pussy. So with that, I'm Mel Boogie. You've been a beautiful crowd. Thank you.